When the Indian company Tata Motors bought Land Rover, it was the end of an era for many Britons. But it's also proving to be a bright new beginning. The company has now brought out a compact version of the Range Rover with a sleek new form, the Range Rover Evoque. But there are already competitors out there. Such as the BMW X1, for example. But first, back to the newcomer. Vehicle tester Sebastian Rent says the Evoque is the smallest and most economical Range Rover. He says the compact claims to be the sportiest SUV. Up to now, the BMW X1 has been the most sporty and most economical. We test their claims. Usually, cities are not the natural habitat of SUVs, but the BMW X1 feels particularly at home here. It is a bit longer than the Range Rover, but it's also lower and narrower. But while a low profile might be good on the open road, it's not so great on rough terrain. And its four-wheel drive system is also better suited to the highway. That becomes particularly obvious traveling through the Welsh countryside. At one point, we even needed to give it an extra helping hand. The X1-18D delivers 105 kilowatts of power, so is a bit less powerful than the Evoque. But it makes more of it. The BMW takes just over 10 seconds to reach 100 kilometers per hour and can reach speeds of 195 kilometers per hour. According to the manufacturers, consumption is 5.7 liters of diesel per 100 kilometers. There, the two SUVs are evenly matched. Sebastian Rentz says the BMW X1 remains the most sporty and dynamic vehicle in its class. The car, he adds, doesn't perform like an SUV, but like a completely normal compact station wagon with great traction, thanks to the four-wheel drive. But the real weakness of the BMW X1 is its cabin. It's a bit snug. The largely plastic interior is also a bit spartan in appearance. It might cost 2,500 euros less than its British counterpart, but at 32,200 euros, it's not exactly cheap. And we haven't even talked extras yet. The Range Rover takes you off-road in luxury. It has an impeccable pedigree. The Evoque makes this a little more affordable. It remains a premium product, but it now plays in the same price league as the other compact SUVs. It's not for people who want to go unnoticed. The Evoque stands out from the crowd and will probably continue to do so for some time to come. It's a real head turner. The Range Rover's cabin offers exactly what you might have expected from the BMW X1. It's broader and airier, a cut above. But the vehicle can also get down and dirty. The Evoque really makes the grade when it heads off-road. And we're not just talking about a couple of centimeters extra ground clearance here. While its southern German counterpart turns out to have no real head for heights, the Brit shows true grit. With its 2.2 liters of cubic capacity, the Evoque delivers a bit more than the 2-liter BMW. The Range Rover also gleans 110 kilowatts from its motor. But its acceleration can't compete with the BMW. It takes 10.8 seconds to get from 0 to 100 kilometers. And its top speed is around 185 kilometers per hour. Renz says Range Rovers are expected to meet very high standards in terms of their interiors, workmanship and image. And he says the Evoque really outshines the competition here. The X1 displays some unattractive molded plastic in parts. It's more basic. Though the workmanship's solid, it's not what you expect from a premium product. The Evoque, says Renz, fulfills these expectations. It features attractive surfaces and unusual operating system makes for very pleasant, comfortable driving. 
The Evoque is the most reasonably priced Range Rover of all time, but it's still not really cheap. Prices start at around 33,000 euros in Germany. Our test model cost almost 35,000. So the Range Rover is more expensive than the BMW, but also comes better equipped. Sebastian Rentz says it's a matter of character when deciding between the Range Rover and the BMW. He says both manufacturers have given their premium SUVs characteristics typical of their brands. He says the Evoque has become a true off-road vehicle, which handles tough terrain well. It boasts an elevated seating position, is spacious, but feels a bit cumbersome. Just what you expect from a Range Rover. By contrast, he feels that the X1 is a typical BMW. He says it's a very dynamic car but not a true SUV, more of a roomier, elevated station wagon than a real off-roader. The BMW X1 is certainly the sportiest SUV in its class. However, it falls a bit short in the utility part. It simply provides too little ground clearance. In contrast, the Evoque can be used off-road. Its interior is also more versatile and luxurious, something that's sure to win over many prospective buyers.